In this video, I will show you how to remove your Find My iPhone feature from your iPhone without typing in the password. This is a pretty big security flaw for Apple as the Find My iPhone feature is a theft deterrent. As you can see, I'm also signed in on my account. If you play a sound here, it will pop up. If you try to log out of Find My iPhone, it wants a password. If you try to delete the account, it also wants a password. So let's get started. Go back to the main menu, then go back into iCloud, click account, click password, delete the password, type in a bunch of random characters, hit done. It'll say username or password is incorrect, you'll hit OK. You'll hit cancel, then you'll go back into the account, click on description, delete that iCloud word and leave it blank, hit done. This time it does not ask, let you hit cancel, it brings you back to the iCloud screen and the find my iPhone feature will be off. So with that being off, we'll try and play a sound. and it's pending, which means it has not made a signal yet. So now we'll try and delete the account. No sound is played yet. And iCloud actually lets you delete the account. Now we'll put in my dummy account. I'm going to move over here while I type in the password, even though it's for a dummy account. And it lets you sign in. And it'll ask you if you want to use the location for your iPhone. So now we're signing in on a completely different account. And the alert now pops up, which is kind of weird because we're not in that same account anymore. But Find My iPhone is on. On the old on the old account it still lets you try but nothing happens. So now if we sign out of that account and of course Google Chrome would crash on me. I'm going to now find the iPhone and move it down because it'll track it right to my house here. I don't feel like showing everyone where I live. But now that iPhone is showing on this other account, which is my, which is my iCloud locked account. And this one allows me to play the sound just like the other one did. So I'm having full access to the iPhone with a new iCloud account that can go into the App Store and download apps and everything. I do not know what happens if you try to reset the device. I have not tested that yet. I don't really want to reset my phone at this time. I also do not know what happens if you try to upgrade. But that is it for now. This is a major security flaw for Apple on their prized iOS 7 iCloud lock.